Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and I am here to plan a week I don't know the dates of um, in my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral Life Planner. It is the 11th to the 17th of May. Um, I'm using this Whiskers on Kittens kit leftovers and as you may see there is no foil. Um, so I am trying a no foil spread. This is very different for me. Um, so instead of foil I have, and I didn't buy glitter headers with this kit because I think my mum actually bought me it for my birthday. So I've got various um, bow headers from freebies and sheets. I've got some Erin Floto designs, um, days of the week and some date dots from my shop. And then I've got some clear um, non-foiled overlays um, from Colourful & Co. She doesn't really do these anymore um, but there are various ones of those um, and then some from By Gem Designs. The one, no. That's more colourful and go. The one foil I do have, I don't think I'm going to use. This is Pink Sparkle. Um, I pulled it out in case, this is obviously oops, um, in case I didn't want any of the other overlays, but I think I won't be using that. So, But I thought I'd show you it in, just in case anyway. Um, haven't really decided whether I'm going to do this as a voiceover as a talk or a talk through, but we're going to start by talking through. And if I get bored and I don't want to do it as a talk through, we will switch to voiceover. Um, so we shall see. Um, but I'm going to get started with the bottom washi. Um, so I'm using this cat bottom washi here and I absolutely adore this washi. I think it's really really cute. Um, I think the cats are like, ugh. like I am definitely a cat person, I am not a dog person, I am a cat person through and through. Um, I don't dislike dogs but I just think they're a bit, um, they're not for me. I find them a bit slobbery. I know you can get like non-slobbery dogs but Okay, that is not gonna cut. Um, I know you can get non slobbery dogs, but um, every dog I've ever been around for a prolonged period is really slobbery. So, but my boyfriend also kind of wants a dog. Um, so, if you guys know of any dog breeds that aren't particularly slobbery, um, that would be cool. I think it's also like partly my introvert nature is like, I don't want to be like constantly leaving the house. Um, I haven't quite worked out what I'm gonna do with the sidebar because. I've um, just realised I tipped out the hexagon because I was thinking that I would cover it with um, a full box but normally what I do with the sidebar is I put a foiled hexagon up there with the um, month on. I do have some other month stickers so maybe that will be a prime example of why I have my functional folder pulled out because I haven't thought that through. Um, that is the first like genuine problem I've run into with this idea though. So I'm now just going to work out which of these bow headers I can use and that like kind of match this kit. Um, it's possibly something I could have worked out before now but I didn't so I'm just literally looking at the colours of the kit and the colours of the headers and working out. I feel like it might be that I go for like quite pastel ones whether or not they're quite the colours in the kit or not um, but we'll see. Depends how many I can get to. So they all sort of pair up apart from those two, um, which means that I don't actually want to use like the same colour on each day, I want to use like two different ones, which is what I was actually trying to work out just then. Um, so I'm just going to try and like randomise the colours, but that's actually really difficult to do, so we'll see how that works. Um, I might just pop the other one I'm going to use that day at the bottom, just so that I can... Um, work out how to randomise without actually randomising because <laughs> obviously I don't want to have like two pinks on the day that'll do, what else? Um, got there in the end so that is our bow headers all sorted and I've got my ones for the top of the text just down at the bottom they're just hovering out there while we work out the rest of the spread so now I'm going to pop these in I think I'm going to use the middle ones or are those too tall? I'm going to use the middle ones and they're just going to go like, does this deck kit have deco in? I feel like it doesn't. Um, I feel like this, oh no it does. Hmm. Now in that case I'm going to use the other ones so that I have space for the deco. I don't know why I tipexed out the um, date covers. I just turned to the page and I'd already tipexed them out and I was like well we're going to have to work with that. I hadn't accounted for it but that will be fine. I feel like the like middle colours actually match a bit better but these ones are a bit smaller. Are they a bit smaller? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Stop questioning yourself till you just do it. Otherwise we will be here forever. So now that's all in. I'm going to pop the deco across the top as well. I'm trying to like fill in any spaces that 
that are made from the weird randomly put together date covers. In an ideal world I would have um, had glitter headers and I wouldn't have whited out the dates for this kit but I'd done those things so I kind of had to work with it. So I'm going to cut that deco off in a minute but I thought I would just go and move on to the sidebar first and because I am um, that doesn't go there it's the full box that goes at the bottom I am not not with it today because I don't have any more headers I am um, going to save and use the washi strips from the kit as headers as um, dividers headers whatever you call them these gaps um, so I need this that's what I need next so I've got I finished reading a book this week I hope I marked down what book because I don't know what it was off the top of my head just got um, a finished reading script which I like to use for when I finish a book we've got lots of different finished reading bits and pieces so it sort of depends what I've got to as to which I use I kind of feel like I need to white out behind that but yeah, it, will, it will be all right I might come in back in in a second white it out so I'm gonna look what month stickers I have I have a feeling they're not in this book anymore they used to be in this book and they're not so I'm just gonna leave the top of the sidebar for now I am gonna put in a strip of washi um, I need a best fits header don't I I'm so prepared as you can tell um, problem with the best fits headers is that the custom headers don't come in a uh, like pastel colorway so this is the best that we got and that will be fine I just want a strip of washi for behind it and I think what I will probably do a pull this down a tiny bit is and put another strip of washi here and then pop in a flag or something at the top with the month on um, but we'll work that out when we see what month type things that we've got so next I'm just going to cut off that washi but I don't have any scissors so in fact I'm going to pause for a sec and go and grab my A my um, scissors and B um, my month stickers so the only May I have that's not giant is this one which is from Philo Fabulous and I think I'm going to have a look for these flags this is what I'm looking for use one of them just across the top there and pop May in the flag like that and that will do for my sidebar <laughs> not sure about that but I'm sure it's fine just gonna cut the deco off as well so yeah have you guys done like completely unfoiled spreads since you started using loads of foil this is my first one and as you can tell from my oh I haven't pulled out this or I haven't thought about this yet <laughs> I was not very prepared for it because <laughs> I'm just so reliant on the foil stickers that I use every week that I don't really know what to do with myself when I don't have the opportunity to use those foil stickers well I mean I could use them but that would negate the point in a non-foiled spread wouldn't it so cool so that is the entire base done Sorry, I thought my um, computer had died and it is recording the sound, so that was concerning for a second. Um, so that's the entire base done, so let us get on with the day by day and I'm just going to make sure I can see the right place um, on my notes. So, um, I did yoga every morning. Um, are we going to start at the bottom for um, purposes of... The only thing I'm going to use from this is this flag, so let's just take that off and put it somewhere else and then spread these out. Just going to spread up my stickers out. Oh, I forgot! I was going to use. Is it worth ripping it all up? I was going to put these like through the middle of the date covers so that they had a bit of the like hit in them so they looked a bit more um, cohesive, which I think I might do. What do we reckon? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Hang on, it'll be two minutes while I do this. Do you ever like completely put things down and then peel them up because it's not what you meant to do? Because this isn't the first or the last time I'll do this, I am sure. Uh, it's not that, like, it's because I knew what I wanted to do and then I just kind of forgot about it. Um, and it was a good idea when I came up with the idea, so I should actually, you know, follow through on my decent ideas. Also, this kit is in a removable mat, so if you see me like struggling with stickers, it is just because I always struggle with a removable mat. 
I really don't buy it anymore because I just can't deal with stickers peeling up and um, particularly this week in my pre-planning um, I kept losing date colours um, I don't know why I kept losing them I just did um, and it got to the point that I really didn't want to look at my spread because I was scared of losing a sticker um, and that's not like just one shop's removable mat or anything it's just, I find it with all removable mat there we go I just think that looks so much more cohesive I mean it's not that big a difference but in my head it is so we're happy with that um, I'll go back to what I was doing which was spreading out all these pages so I could see everything cool. I don't know whether I'm going to fit a full box on any day yet so we're going to start at the bottom of Monday so the last thing we did on this day is we watched a film and I did some planning um, so I'm just going to mark that in to start off with this was in um, my second week of self-isolation my boyfriend having been diagnosed with covid so i was at home all week and not able to leave the house and um, so you can imagine what some of the plans are going to be like um, and before that i um worked on my instagram photos and um, so i think i'm just going to pop that free floating before the film what am i going to write about this day we um because while i was off work um we spent quite a lot well we've trying to get up to date with the guide event, the guide counts so I spent um, some time most days working on trying to get them a bit more up to date and with it um, and that was one of those and on this day I actually did manage to take myself some time to watch a tv show which may well be what my journaling is about so maybe I should have jumped up to the top but I'm seriously think I'm gonna have space for a full box on this day so I'm thinking I'm just gonna pop the full box in and then hope for the rest why not um so you put the full box in at the top and then i'm just gonna lift up the bow header a little bit so that i can pop the like tails of the bow on top of the full box and so then at the top i want to mark that i did my yoga which i'm just going to pull in a little thing to mark that um, so I did yoga every day this week I think I managed to actually you know keep on top of things and then um, I planned which so I probably shouldn't have used a pink little thing because this box is also pink but oh well it can just be a lot of pink in that space and then I did some editing which I think I'm going to pop free floating um, just like that after that I what did I do after that? Oh, I wrote blurbs for um, YouTube. Um, it's like, why do I have a YouTube play button? I, don't, I can't see anything about YouTube. I wrote the blurbs for my videos that went up. That's what I did. And then I packed orders and then I brainstormed my designs. See, I put the full box in and now I do not have enough space. I feel like this is going to be a day extender sort of week though because um, of the being off work all week. Or maybe I just, I might try, right, for just this week, as we're doing a non foil spread, I might just um, not put in text every day and just not use the checklists and just like memory plan how a lot I know a lot of other people memory plan without putting um, any text in the only other person I know that memory plans by putting some journaling in is um, Taylor from Tattoo Cheech Plants so we'll try other people's method I feel like I probably won't like it but that'll be fine so that's Monday all done um, it may be that I regret that when I get onto the rest of the week and I realise I don't have a full box every day but we'll see so Tuesday again I started off with yoga and I think that's going to go onto an appointment label um, actually maybe I'll free float just because I can't really be bothered to um, peel up that sticker and then we'll put the appointment label for whatever is next which was responding to YouTube comments which probably doesn't need quite as chunky in fact neither of those things really need quite as much space as they are taking up but if we're not putting text in things are going to have to take up more space um, so I've just got a YouTube, that's for YouTube comments, and then after that, what 
Do -do -do. Printed and then foiled. Um, and then my laminator broke, didn't it? That was this day. Um, spent a long time this day trying to fix my laminator, and to be fair, I fixed it, so I can't really complain, can I? Um, so we've got a little printer. As you can tell, I thought, oh, this is a really good opportunity to try and use up some of my um, black text stickers because I do have a lot of them. Um, so I'm going to use a half box, I think, for the. Um, oh God. Oh, laminator breaking because it was a big deal. And the reason I'm putting that in first is because that crafty wrap was going to cover up slightly and I just wanted things to fit nicely. So we've got foil in there and then a little sweary for things breaking and then after that we did cutting which I'll just pop free floating and I did manage to rip this cut sticker because I wasn't careful with it. If you know me, you know I like rip stickers. Not frequently, but with some like. <laughs> I don't rarely rip stickers, I just do it. Now I've got these stickers to mark that I was um, sketching out the designs for my, um, what are the words? Oh, damn it, but I've pulled out all these bow dividers. Hmm, for, um, to, in preparation for having text in. So what am I going to do with these bow dividers? I need to fit them in I think because I've pulled them out now and it seems ridiculous to then like pop them straight back in. Um, so just going to like try and squidge things up and fit a bow divider in every day. Second bow divider. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that and I'm probably going to regret it because it means move, remove all matte stickers around and then they won't stick as well but we will make it work. I'm good with that. So then I um, did some accounts. Um, as I say, I did spend a lot of this week working on guide accounts. Um, you'll probably see it marked in most, if not every day. Um, those stickers should have been the other way around. Just centred that bow header a little bit better. Um, then I actually took some time off and had a bit of some chill time. I mean, it wasn't very much chill time. I say chill time. It was probably like half an hour, but. I so rarely actually chill out and don't do things that I felt like it was important to mark it as some self care and then watched some TV and did some memory planning. Now I know that I am pulling in a bow header every day and I'm just going to pop. In fact the TV should come up and then the memory should go at the bottom so that I don't have two like scripts centred one after the other. That would make way more sense. We'll just pop the memory script there. That is Tuesday. Wednesday. Um, this is going okay, I think. <laughs> so I actually Instagram vlogged this entire day, which was a lot of fun, but hard work. <laughs> so I'm going to mark that first, and I think I'm going to use this appointment label to mark that. Um, I just again need to pop this bow header tails on top of the sticker. So um, vlogged the day. So I did my yoga to start off with, as usual. What a surprise. And after that I worked on orders which I think can go on this green box here. Oh sorry my hair is like cropping in to the shot. I've partly used that sticker because I knew that would perfectly cover that. So we've got working on orders and then what did I do after that? I think I worked on my birthday list probably. Yes I did indeed. So I think I'm going to pop in this strip because um, this is like breaking up the day a little bit because I then moved on to like non-shop stuff so I'm going to pull in, in fact that flag is the same colour as the last thing I used so maybe not. I pull in this flag and these birthdays to mark working on my birthday list that was basically collating people's, like, uh, collating people's addresses and birthdays and stuffs. After that I um, had a family Zoom call with my sister and we played some sport quizzes which was a lot of fun. Pop that in there. Then I think this Dobby sock might be to mark sport quizzes but I don't actually know. I know 
it was to mark I drew my giveaways for my shop anniversary stuff um because like master has given Dobby a sock I thought that was hilarious good <laughs> then I put together a wax paper sticker book um, for my friend again and then um, we had a zoom call for a guide acres committee meeting and um, so guide acres is our county campsite um, in fact if I use this telephone one it's almost quite appropriate because it was a zoom call um, so we had like a long 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 zoom call and I think I possibly need to pull that down a little bit in fact I might make that um, crafting time a double appointment label, uh, double little thing because of the space I've got left I think that's the way to make things fit better because all I'm going to mark at the bottom of the day is a movie night um, and that does not need that much space. So yeah, um, this non-foil spread is very different, particularly now that I've decided not to have any like standard texty bits in it because mm, I've been I've been journaling in my weekly spreads for as long as I've been memory planning I think. Um, so this is very very different for me, but we'll see whether I like it or I mean I like to do it once in a while but it's not something I think I'd ever like stick to. So that is a Wednesday. Okay, second half of the week. Need my stickers, need my stickers, need my stickers. Oh, this video is horrendous. Good. So Thursday I reckon I have space for a full box so I'm going to pop it in straight away because otherwise I will forget about it because I do have three more full boxes to fit in during the rest of the week and I suppose Sunday I will definitely fit one so I'm going to pop another one on Sunday and then Friday or Saturday we'll have to work out which one has less stuff possibly Friday actually in fact let's just do that let's just put Fridays full box in on Friday as well and in fact I think on Thursday I'm gonna pop my um on, yeah in fact every time the things full box is at the bottom I'm gonna put the bow header on top of the full box at least I am um, if I can get it in the middle there we go I'm just gonna pop that up there because I want to pop the weekend banner in before I lose it and forget about it um, so I'm just gonna pop in the weekend banner down here yeah, I was at the washing. So Thursday again, as per usual, I started my day with yoga. It's like that's what I do most days. I say that, I haven't done yoga for the last two days when I'm recording this, but that's not the point. Uh, then again, I worked on my birthday list. This week is a lot of doing the same things because I had like stuff I wanted to get done and I had a week off work. Ah, uh, removable mat. How I dislike you. And then I made myself some um, headers for my daily petite. After that I think I worked on accounts from the sticker that I have pulled out and I think I did quite a lot of that. So it's a bit weird for me to use two half boxes in a day but I kind of feel like that's what this calls for. But maybe not. Maybe I'll just use two little things stacked instead. Um, so I just have this Choco and Mimi little sticker to mark working on accounts. Fabulous. And then I actually took five minutes for myself and had a bath. Like, what? What? What did I just say? I don't quite believe myself, but I did. Um, so we'll pop these sticker across there and have a bath time script. Fabulous. So I lay in the bath and had a read and then after my bath I um, rang my granny. Yes. And then after that I chose stickers and filmed, uh, watched a film. I haven't written down what film so I can't write that down so I'm just gonna leave it and I think we'll use this flag in the gap for calling my granny feel like things can spread out a little bit more at the top. Um, in fact I'm going to pop a strip of washi underneath this to write choosing stickers on. 
Um, I don't want to use yellow because there is yellow in the header. The, the, the bow header is yellow. No, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. There we go. That is Thursday. Kind of feel like when there's a full box, the bow header should be like separating the full box from the things on the day. So I'm gonna like throw these things down. Sorry for the funny break. My um camera overheated, so it was like nah and I didn't realise straight away so I like finished shifting those around. So Friday. Obviously I started the day with yoga. How predictable. Who could have known? And that's what I was gonna say. Uh, I did. Um so just gonna pop a strip of washi down to mark yoga on and again move things around so that that's not on top of that. And then after yoga I worked again, shockingly, on my birthday list. I really did do the same things over and over again this week. If you're not getting that now, I don't know how I'm gonna like explain that to you because I'm marking the same things over and over again. After that, what did I do? Oh, I worked on orders. And I, I'm gonna use a half box for working on orders because I did it for a lot of the day. Um, plus I have a giant sticker to mark it, so. Um, I've, like, I've pulled out really big stickers for this day, so the full box may have been a bad plan. Um, because I'm not sure it will fit, but we'll make it work. Then I filmed a plan with me, I believe. That's what these stickers are for. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna grab a strip of washi and pop the time to plan over that. And then I'm gonna peel up this and cover up the cat slightly. Sorry, kitty cat. And then I'm gonna pop a film script I wish I hadn't centered that now. Um, can I peel this up? Perfect. And then after that, I was having camera issues, so I was just going to mark that in. I got just to use a little thing to mark that. Don't know what camera issues. Oh, uh, I think it was with my cable, probably, maybe. Don't know. I replaced my cable at some point. And then I cut my dad's hair. And then I did some planning. So. And that will be the balance of the day. So let's um, spread this out a little bit more. Fabulous. And watched TV, we watched some Disney Plus and jamming in my planner. And I'll just put an and sign between those, which I will do now because otherwise I will forget. Again, Sunday I have giant stickers for, so I'm tempted to plan Sunday and see if it fits in this gap. And if not, move the full box to this day. And I've got quite a lot for both of them, as you can see. Um, but I've got big stickers for Sunday, so I feel like Sunday might take more space. So I might move this full box to Saturday. I might regret that decision, but that's what I'm going to do. So, shockingly enough, predictably, I started my day with yoga. Just gonna mark that in at first. Um, and all my stickers I'm using for yoga this week are from Scrubber Pints Co. because I'm trying to use up the stickers. And then I did some editing and actually I need to turn the page in my other planner that I'm using for my notes. Oh, I've finished my book. There we go. I say what book it is there, but actually the book I've written is not the book it was. Uh, but oh well. Then um, I did some editing, which I'm just gonna switch in there. And then my boyfriend took the orders that I'd been working on during the week to the post office and he posted about 50 orders, bless him, because um, he's a good egg because I still couldn't leave the house but he could because he only had to self-isolate for seven days even though he's the one that had confirmed Covid. Makes no sense to me but it happened. Um, good. Um, then I tried to design and was not feeling my design process um, it just was not happening for me and my friend suggested that I shouldn't design and I should take a break if I don't feel like it because designing when you don't feel like it is bloody hard work. It is. Um, but I didn't listen to her and I tried to design anyway and then got frustrated. Not a good plan. Um, after that, that sticker is not meant to be there. Eh, that's meant to have a look. Did I just rip my design sticker? Where did the rest of the end go? What is happening? Oh, it's stuck to my um, mad girl. And come back to me. Honestly, I'm so good at ripping stickers. Um, then I was gonna mark in that I got frustrated at the 
designing process because it was not going smoothly for me. And then I have a cleaning sticker. Did I clean? Did I tidy? Yeah, I think I tidied. Um, I couldn't find where it was written, like anywhere, but I just find somewhere it like, I just I seem to have not marked a load of things because um, there were like repeats. Then worked on accounts. Then we watched Pirates of the Caribbean and I planned. So um, I had like two stickers pulled out to mark that on, but I won't use those. I'm just gonna use just so it fits a bit better. Um, I'm gonna just use these little things and instead of like using a plan next plan photo I'm gonna use like the movie and yeah like that you can see you can see what I'm trying to describe. And then I took the entire day off on Sunday which is something I very very rarely do. Um, so you'll notice this is the only day that doesn't start with yoga because I literally took a day off doing anything productive I just did what I wanted to do rather than what I felt I needed to do. So that's for to mark my lazy day or my day off really it wasn't really a lazy day it was a day off so I started the day with some reading and then we watched Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and um, we watched two Harry Potter well two and a half Harry Potter films this day but I'm only going to mark two of them in um, I because we're binging all of them um, so I marked like the rest of them the next week. I just didn't seem to line up properly but it does. Um, so that's for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Then um, while we were watching that I was playing um, solitaire games on my phone. And then, so I'm going to pop that in and that was not quite enough space. Um, so yeah I play Microsoft Solitaire. Um, they have like daily challenges and I was trying to, um, no actually we did a challenge, like they have then as well as their daily challenges they have events and on this day we, I decided to do like an event that was running that day that finished at 11, uh, well 1, um, so we did that and then we did some baking, um, that's the yellow box above that, so let's use a green one, we baked some amazing bread it was so good, um, there yeah, we zoomed and played uh, Sporkle again on the Zoom call. Uh, so I've got like both a family Zoom, like a family chatty thing, which we'll put there um, for the Zoom call. And then I'm just going to pop the game on free floating to mark Sporkle. Am I? TV sticker got stuck to my hair. Oh, I need to fit the um. I'm gonna put the bow divider in here because this isn't fitting how I want it to. So the bow divider might help with my problem. No, not really. <laughs> I want this to be like right down there, and it's just not gonna happen unless like I because I'm really spread things out. I've still got like several things to mark so this is probably a bad one. Um, I might just see how things fit and then come back to that. So I might even put that in a quarter box. That might be the solution putting this in a quarter box. Never mind, never mind, we're sorted. I talked myself into a solution, we're good. Um, if I pop the quarter box there with the game on sticker in, there we go. And then we watched Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I did some sort of planning at the same time. Don't know what sort of planning. I need to look properly at my planner to work that out. So there's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So I'm gonna use one of the flags to layer this time to plan a sticker on. As I've not used them as checklists. And then I haven't pulled out a sticker for this because I didn't think there was going to be room to mark it. But I'm just going to put a little thing right at the bottom to mark that I was super relaxed. And that will be it. That is the entire day, week, and we planned. In the kit, what do we have left? And let me show you what's left in the kit and then I can tidy up a bit before I write everything in. So we, because I wasn't using foil, I couldn't pull in like 
my filled functionals so I've used pretty much the whole kit so I've got like four little things left nothing on that sheet nothing on that sheet all of the ombre heart checkboxes and icons because who uses those two build use because I don't mark those in this planner and all of the flags except uh, the heart checklist but one and nothing on the washi sheet so I like really put that kit through its paces there um Obviously there's no visible call to do, but I am just going to go through and write everything in. From the stickers I pulled out, oh sorry, there's actually another little thing there. So I left five little things, shocking. Um, so there's three little icons there that I pulled out that I haven't used. Um, so I'm going to go through and write everything in and then we will think about unfoiled overlays. I finished two books this week and I normally mark those in my sidebar, so um, I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I might just have to pull in another finished reading book because I read a full book, like a half book there. I read half the book in my bath and half the book there. Or I just ignore it because it wasn't actually a very good book. It like it was fine, but it's not my normal um, sort of reading topics. So how is everyone else doing? Obviously this was a week of self-isolation, but as you can see, I did manage to fill it up with lots of things, um, as I, you know, I'm pretty good at. Um, so how is everyone else doing? Things are starting to be lifted in the UK, at least when I'm filming this, I don't know. This doesn't get up for a little while, so I don't know whether they've been further lifted, lifted by the time you're seeing this, or um, whether we've had to go the other way and re-put things in place. Um, but at the minute, they're talking about lifting things slightly, so that's quite nice. Um, I'm really hoping I can see my sister and my nephew really soon but um, obviously I want it to be safe for them and us because so we work for the NHS and I'm a key worker and at risk so um, I don't want to put them at risk. So there's the finished spread. Um, sorry if I wasn't talking over the writing and stuff. Um, my boyfriend is um, playing games with our friends so I just decided to do that in quiet so that they could talk. He's just being quiet for a minute while I finish the end of this video. Um, so I've just put some clear overlays on um, because of like the busyness of the background. Some of them you can't see as well as others but they are much clearer in person than they are necessarily on screen. Um, plus it gave me a good use reason to use them when I'm not using um, foil overlays. So yeah, that is the finished spread. Um, it's not my favourite, it's not my least favourite. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have for you today. It looks, there's lots of black in it and I think that falls in the black of the bottom washi quite nicely. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Comment, like down below, answering some of the questions that I've asked throughout the spread. And if you use removal more at, let me know how you keep your stickers from peeling up all the time because it is driving me crazy. Um, so yeah, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.